Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to manipulate photo and how to change the background and how to change the uh, color or color correction and how to use camera raw filter and Google Nick collection filter. Okay, let's start. At first, I'm going to the file and open. Here is my stock image. I'll give you the download link of this image and I downloaded it from the diviner.com okay at first uh, i'll just uh, take this photo in a crop mode uh, i'll crop this portion the black portion the credit of these photographers okay and just rotate just like that okay after cropping this one just make a copy by pressing ctrl j and turn off the background layer after that go to the quick selection tool and zoom in the photo and select carefully the photo is in focus so uh, you don't need to use any other selection tool you can select this one easily but be careful when you are using this tool here is some white portion it could be go the white area when you are selecting this one it's easy to select select with the shadow it will help you to just okay it's selected almost selected okay. the fingers when you're selecting this one press alter to deselect any area or you can just select from the minus portion and you can deselect any area if you want if you want to select any area you can just press the plus one and just select here okay uh i have a detailed tutorial about the selection and uh, using paint tool or other tools for the selection you can watch that one I'll give you the download link in my card section here okay yeah, that's good okay nice the dotted area or selected area you are watching here and then go to the select option press and hold the shift key and select and mask option you will get this window uh, those who are used the photoshop creative cloud previous vers version like uh, 2007 15 or 14 version they can um, just uh, when they doing the refinance they uh, will do like that but in a creative cloud 17 from the creative cloud 17 here is uh, the hidden technique this one is the hidden technique to get this type of now window this one is uh, familiar that's why i'm just showing this one okay just uh, make bigger the brush size by pressing third bracket closing and brush this area for the refined edge okay that's good nice Okay. you can make it change you can make it more smooth you can give some feathers if you want if you don't want you can just reduce the values okay i think this one is good you can give some contrast or okay shift is shifting you can give uh, okay smooth you can make it okay smart refine age make it like that okay now drop down this menu and uh, new layer with the layer mask and select the ok button you get a transparent background with a curl That's good. and after that go to the file and then go to the new options from the new options take a4 size this one and Create. If you don't get the uh, A4 size here, you can go to the print and then the A4 size and hit the create button. Okay, after that, make it ash color, which is DDDDR, I'm C9, 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 the code. Okay, hit the OK button and after that, press alter and press delete. Okay, that's good. And just select this layer layer copy one and drag this photo and drop here 
select here and select this mask and apply layer mask okay that's good and after that go to the file and place and get it and take this room which is like that okay and put it here. you can just close this portion before closing you should save this one you can use it in the future This is our photo and here is our model we'll use this photo for the background and this model for our subject okay make it restylize layer by pressing the left pattern of a mouse and restylize this one after that mask it and I'm working this layer with this layer okay. after that go to the gradient options select the gradient uh, from the last one and just mask this one brush here and get a uh, white portion and get okay. it's good after that select this background and go to the file and place embed it here is the sky and select this one and replace here okay you can mask it properly the one you can use brush there is brush make it smaller by pressing the bracket closing sorry opening and you can press over there okay that's good and you can place this image if you want you can just place it like that good and after that go select this layer and take a blank layer and make it white go to the brush option and go to the cloud brush I'll give you the cloud brush link in my video description so feel free to check out my video description okay I'll make it bigger and I'll make the opposite down and flow down and you can brush carefully when you are brushing just like that it will make a uh, fantasy type okay that's good press ctrl t you can just make it bigger if you want uh, it, it will make more dreamy uh, from this layer the sky i'll make it crystallize and go to the filter and go to the blur gallery and tilt shift from the tilt shift I'll just make it a little bit blur but not too much okay, and hit the ok button after making it the tilt shift blur uh, then I'll go to these model options and this one is our model option and select this layer one and go to the adjustment layer go to the level and i'll adjust the color and light with the model or the background okay be careful when you are using this one when you are just adjusting the lights you can change another colors suppose blues you can control the blue color okay that's good RGB color. Okay. Here is our clouds. You can make the opposite down. This cloud opposite down a little bit. Or you can change the direction like that. Whatever you can do if you want. All in your hand. Okay. That's good and then select the model select the model and make two copies of the model make the name b and give the name d d for dodge b for barn select the b layer and make it skin right press go to the blending options and slider in the right side press alter and divide the slider and adjust the light with the 
model okay and hit okay button mask it after that go to the image and apply image hit okay after that select the d layer and go to the blending mode in a multiply and blending options you will get the slider you can slide and find out the highlight uh, shadow area actually and press the alter button and just divide this one and just okay adjust the shadow with the model hit the ok button one thing in this portion you have to just you can change if you want press the uh, cross section square and you will get window again you can adjust with it okay. and hit the ok button after that mask it go to the image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok and select to this layer and make it group mask this group and go to the image again and apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok you'll get little bit change the shadow and highlighting actually you can make it group and just make another copy and make it mark by pressing ctrl e and turn it off okay after that select this model and go to the file and place embed it add a light from my collection just place here you can down the opacity for the placing okay hit okay go to the blending options mode actually make the skin and give the opacity up from here go to the adjustment layer go to the level and make it mask and you can adjust the lights actually can place it properly press control alter and just select this one okay just delete this one after that go to the file and go to the place embedded options and here is some stock petals you can use those petals Okay, now uh, make all the layers in a group and go to the okay. After that, select this layer and take a blank layer, take a brush and make a shadow over there. Press Ctrl T, you can just customize the shadow. You have to customize it actually. Just like that. Okay. And go to the filter and make it blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. And hit okay. And make the opacity down a little bit. Okay. Call up the group and just make it march by pressing Ctrl Shift Ctrl E. And go to the filter and camera filter. After going camera filter you have to highlight down then down the exposure a little bit add some shadows and press the alter button and when you are getting the dots you just down the blacks okay similarly whites when you are getting the dots black skin just leave it after that go to the effects and add some vignette a little bit a little bit vignette and after that go to the sharpening options add amount of sharpening add luminance of noise reducer add some color okay and hit the ok button 
okay after that go to the filter again and nick collection and color fix pro you'll get the nick collection totally free in a website i'll give you the download link of google nick collection uh, it's easy to use and it's cool for using the effects in your photos or manipulation photos or other things i'm using the cross processing filter and here is other filters you can try filters from here okay which one is cool you have to choose from here okay i think this one is good i am using b02 you can use other filters here lots of filters actually you have to explore this one otherwise you won't get the real flavor of those filters okay i am using the b02 and hit the ok button okay it's loading and make the opacity a little bit down for this thing it will get a mix flavor of your previous uh, previous one and the present one okay that's good okay make it march make it group at first and make it march after making it march you will get your image okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any kind of query or question please feel free to do comment on my video comment section or you can contact with me via social medias facebook twitter or other social medias okay till the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye